How's it going guys? My name is Eric Van Wilderman and welcome back to Geometry Dash. In this video, we are going to be doing Forest Temple by Michigan. This is a very special video. First of all, this is going to be my 100th demon, so I wanted to make it the hardest demon that I've ever done. I believe that Forest Temple is a hard demon, which I would rank this harder than Theory of Everything 2 version 2, because this is consistently difficult. There are so many hard bits just strewn together. It is crazy. I'm not going to be doing a shout out in this video because this video is all about me. It's my hundredth demon. It's the hardest demon I've ever done. It's special. This is really special to me because I've been practicing this level since it was made. Since Michigan first made this, I've been practicing it on and off and I've wanted to beat this for so long because I love this level. Now a little disclaimer. Any bad thing I say about this level while I'm playing it, I don't mean it because I'll probably be getting angry. I'll probably be getting frustrated and I will lash out, but I don't mean it in the slightest. I love this level. I'm going to try to stay calm. I've been practicing this on and off for a year. Like I said, 4,500 attempts already. We're just going in. We're going to do a uh, practice mode first. Actually, I'm going to run through the level. That's, that's a little bit of a bad start. Did my controller just unplug? What is going on? So this very beginning part, my controller is like... I'm unplugging and I'm, I'm never ready for this, am I? So this is the first little tricky bit. This part, it's not as hard as the timing of Acropolis, like the cube part at the beginning there, but this is a really tricky cube timing. So like, you gotta be pretty spot on. Like here you wait just a split second and then you jump up. And there's so many timings where you just gotta wait a split second before you jump. You can't just like jump automatically and hold down the button. You have to wait a split second and then jump. Okay, my controller seems to be fine now. So you gotta wait, wait a little bit. I jumped too early, they jumped too early, see? You gotta wait a tiny little bit. I'm doing this really poorly. My thumb hurts because I was practicing all day yesterday. You jump here, you can automatically jump there. Jump, wait, jump, jump, jump. You can hold down the button there. Don't go too early there. And then once, oops, I went a little too early, but you basically just jump, you fall down, and as soon as you fall, you can just hold down the button and do two jumps in a row. You gotta, you gotta wait and jump right at the last second, then jump up here. And here you just kinda, Try to coast along, try to be consistent. And this is the first like monstrous part. This part is such a tight space. It is insane. This is what's gonna kill me the most actually. But it is nice that this is like at the very beginning of the level. Oh, oh my God, I did it pretty quick. And then this wave part will kill me a couple times. Um, You know, it, the wave part isn't that hard, but it's got that kind of texture on the wall where it looks like you have more space than you actually do. You get just a little close to the wall and you're boned. Like, even though you think you have space there, you don't. Okay, duh, you just gotta really focus. Of course you gotta focus this while you're playing. And now this rocket part is pretty easy. It's a nice little break. You just go up and down and all around. You have quite a lot of space there. And as you're going through that portal to the UFO, you wanna fly upwards. You wanna fly upwards. If you're going down, you're not gonna make your jump swell. And that UFO section isn't that hard. This is the next tricky rocket part. Um, ooh, so basically a little tip on that part is when you're going through there, you want to stay kind of low. Let's go through there again. Let's go through there again. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. Really quick one, one. Now you want to stay low. When you stay high, like it feels like you can go through the spikes a little bit when you're low. If you're high, you just touch the spike just a tiny little bit and you die. It's really strange. So you want to go through there being low. Let's try that one more time. No, not too low. Ouch. That's, see, that's what I mean. If you're just a little high, you'll get hit. But going low is better than going high through there. Oh, those are tight spaces. Holy crap. And now this part's easy. If I die here, I would be super sad <laughs> if I died there. I mean, it's not easy, but it's one of the easier parts. Now this part, the timings can be a little tricky, but if I died in this robot section, I would be very sad. But I mean, it is a little treacherous. It looks like it's easy, but there are some timings and some skill involved. It's a little treacherous. Okay, here, this part is the last hard bit. There are some tight spaces. A couple of them are tight, but it's not too, too bad. If I died there, I'd still be really sad. And then here, this is just normal, just some memorization going through here. And that is Forest Temple. So, I might switch to the webcam because I don't know how long I'm going to be recording this. This could take me a very long time to get through. It could take me so long. The beginning part is so hard. The cube, the UFO part's not bad. The icon part at the very beginning has some tricky timings, but I should be able to get through there consistently after I've done it a few times. And then that mini ship section is so hard. And then that wave section will kill me. But once I get through that wave section, I think I have a fighting chance. This is going to be the hardest demon I've ever done. I'm super excited. Oh, good start, huh? 
No, I, I held down the button because I was like, make sure you, you hold down the button to jump, but you gotta fall and then hold down the button. And it's a tiny fall, so the window is small to get that button held down. I'm actually like, because I've practiced this level so much, I actually feel a little calm going into this. Like, usually I was pretty nervous going into Theory of Everything 2 version 2, even though I practiced it a lot. But I think I'm just better at the game now. I just feel calmer! Holy shit. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> I did that first try, and I died at the beginning of the wave section! Come on, that was awesome! I was doing so good! Oh, that's bullshit! What a good attempt that was, but hey, that's a really good first attempt. Getting through that ship section means I have a really good fighting chance. Oh my god, I'm really confident, you know? I'm... I'm still confident, okay? I'm still confident. Oh man, this could be really good. This could be... I practiced this so much this week, like, in preparation for this video. This could have just gotten me, like, much better at the game. I hope. I hope. Fuck. Or not. Now I'm dying a lot to the beginning. But at least the hard bits are at the beginning. This section... I mean, there's a couple tricky bits towards the end, though. That will kill me, for sure. But at least this uh, uh, ship section is over with, like, right at the beginning. Fuck! I, I jumped too early! Always too early there. I just gotta wait. I gotta calm down a little bit. You know, one nice thing I'm gonna say about this level that is just so nice is it's so easy on the eyes. It has a really cool aesthetic to it. It's Forest Temple, like Forest Temple from Legend of Zelda. And, uh, it just, it's easy on the eyes, but it looks cool. It does the trick. It's mysterious. Um, but it's so easy. There's not many flashing lights. The ones with the flashing lights, I have such a hard time seeing, you know? Ah! See? You think you're going through there so perfectly, but it's so tight, just a tiny little mishap, and you lose. But I almost got to the end of that section again. That's cool. I'm doing better than I thought I'd be doing. I mean, I thought was, I wouldn't even be past the icon section yet at this point. Shit, see? That is, oh, it's so hard. But you know what? When I die there, I've said this in many videos, is when you die to that part, like, when you die to a hard part, you're like, oh, well, I died to the hard part. It's just like when you get past a hard part and then you die to a really easy part, those are the worst deaths. Those are the ones that are really hard to take. The deaths at the hard parts, whatever. Who cares, right? Shit, again! Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Transitions. Transitions. You gotta practice your transitions. I did practice this transition a lot, though. I did, but why am I dying there so much? Like, I feel like my inputs are proper. When I go through there, I'm like, okay, I'm ready for it, I'm ready. But I keep on dying there anyways. Oh, man. One other nice thing I should mention is that because I've practiced this level so much, I feel confident that I'm not gonna have to really go into practice mode and practice it again. Just because I know what's coming up and I know the feels of the level, right? So, you know, I'm not gonna have to be like, oh, I forget what's coming up next. Like I do with some of the easier demons, like when it's just like a one-shot video. Um, but yeah, this one, I know everything. I know this in and out. Oh, what? No, I didn't go through the portal properly! Oh, man! That's the Damn it! See, that is a good attempt. I went through the whole entire wave section without- Well, I went through pretty much the entire 99.999% of that wave section without dying. As a matter of fact, I probably switched into a rocket before I died. Oh man, because the next section's easy, and then after that you go to the UFO, and the mini UFO, if I die there, I suck and I'm a noob. And, uh, I mean, the mini UFO, the timings are a little tricky though, still, but I've practiced it so much, I'm pretty sure I should go through there without a hitch. And then it's the second hardest part of the level, which is the ship area. And then if I get past there, it should be gold until the end. Unless I die a stupid death. Damn it, that was, it was good, it was good! I'm doing good, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Let's keep on going, Eric, fight the good fight, buddy! Oh man, it's so tight! That is the tightest space I've ever been inside in my life. That space was so tight, all I could fit was a small rocket ship inside of it. <laughs> that sounds, that sounds really bad. Ah! I always try to recorrect myself. 
but I recorrect myself too much. You just gotta like ever so slightly press the button to kind of keep going straight as a mini ship. Oh man, it takes so much finesse. But at least this beginning part is going way better for me. That's so good. I'm feeling way more confident in my beginning skills. Oh, that... The UFO, you have to keep going straight. You have to press the button consistently at the exact same time, every time. One little deviation, and you're boned. So I guess I should have mentioned that the UFO section... It does take a lot of calm to get through there. You gotta get in the rhythm of it. One thing about this level is it doesn't end. There's no... There's no real break points where you're like, Okay, this is my time to relax. It just transitions into, like, the next section, into the hardness right away. Into the hardness right away. It's always, like, transition. I guess the only real rest area is, like, this beginning part, which... It's the very beginning. Doesn't really count. And, uh... Are there any other sections? Not really. Maybe the big first ship section is kind of considered one, but not really. You still gotta... You still have to maneuver decently. You gotta have skill to get through there. Maybe at the beginning of the second wave section, the, like, slow wave. That's probably, like, the only real rest area. And the robot section. Ah, oh, that spot probably kills me the most here, is when you plummet right towards the ground. I always misjudge how much space I actually have, and then boom. It's just a shit stain on the floor after that. Ah, too high, and that's another part that gets me too, too high. Oh, this whole video is just gonna me be me like commentating over that ship section, the mini ship section, and then I'm gonna get so frustrated and then it's just gonna switch to the webcam and be like, are you ready for some badassery? <laughs> that's, that's gonna be the extent of the video. I'm sorry, basically after like 30 minutes, I'm shutting off the light that's shining in my face to give myself a slight advantage. And then it's just gonna be me going into silent mode. Oh, too early, too early. I knew it was gonna be too early, but I did it anyways. I was like, well, I gotta go up at some point. And what is there? There's press the button ever so slightly and then go up. But if I do that, it'll probably be too late. And then I made a decision and it was a split second decision that was all happening in my head at the same time, but I made the wrong decision. Oh, poop. You know, straight flying in the ship, I mean, straight flying is really hard, like really tight straight flying. But when you have a bit of a space, like kind of like in Gold Temple, straight flying isn't, it's not that bad, right? When you have a little bit of a space. But man, like in this, it's, you're the mini ship. And you are switching directions all the time. You're going up, down, up, down, and like controlling that in a tight space is so hard. Holy shit. Oh my god, what a stupid death. I thought I had more room than I did because you know when I was telling you that on the bottom of the ship, your hitbox is... It looks like you can go through the spikes a little bit more on the bottom. I, I thought that right there, and I was like, no, I'm good. I got this. I'm going through. And then I was a little too low. That was just a really dumb death. I got through that section, and then I just freaked out. I was like, I got through the wave section. Oh, my God. And then I freaked. I panicked. Gotta stop panicking, Eric. Come on. You've practiced that part so much. What are you thinking? Are you ready for some badassery?
my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit, get the... Okay, there's no other place to jump. Oh my god, I, I dropped the controller a little too early. I forgot. I was like, I haven't ever been here before. Did... Is there something else here? Is there something else here? Holy shit, I did it. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god. I was actually just about to give up. I was like, as soon as I get to 330 attempts, I'm done. I'm fucking done. And I did it. 329, whatever. 45 minutes. This probably took me like friggin' like 8 to 10 hours to friggin' do. Holy shit. Forest Temple by Michigan. I've been wanting to do this level for so long. Oh man. Oh man. Fuck. Oh my god, I've been trying this for like almost a year since it first came out. I've been just doing it every now and then. Oh my god, I'm so happy. This has been a mission of mine for so long. There's a comment of mine on the Forest Temple video on Michigan's channel saying, Oh, this level looks great. I really want to do it. And that was like 11 months ago. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh god! Oh man, I'm on my shitty webcam because my other camera is battery powered, so I was doing this for a really long time. 75, 86 attempts. You have to keep in mind I was practicing this on and off for like almost a year, right? So when I wasn't as good at the game, when I was practicing this, I was like at, I don't know, like 4,000 attempts. I, I think I showed you at the beginning of the video anyways. But anyways, wow, yeah, Forest Temple by Michigan. This took me a very long time. This is my crowning achievement, by the way. This level is much harder than Theory of Everything 2 version 2. People consider Theory of Everything 2 version 2 space locked in nine circles. My other demons that I've done, the more difficult ones, people consider those medium demons. This forest temple is a hard demon. There are a lot of people that agree on that. It is a hard demon. Now, it's not like an insane demon, but this is basically, um, by today's standards, this is the first hard demon I've done. The first hard demon. The Everything 2 version 2 was a hard demon, but if I went back and I did it now, I would be- I would do way better. I would- I could do it again much quicker than I had done it before, because I did- I have improved a lot. And this level, Forest Temple, improved my ship flying so much. Did you see some of that straight flying shit? It improved me so much! Oh shit, yeah! God, I'm feeling good about this. Oh man! Fuck, this was good. Fuck, it was good. Anyways, last thing I want to show you is this was my hundredth demon. This is demon number 100. You can see right there at my profile, EVW 100. It's my hundredth demon special, Forest Temple. I'm so happy I did this. It is an awesome level. Forest Temple is great. The mini ship part is frustrating, but let me tell you, I was getting through it more consistently by the end and it did probably improve my ship flying by so much and it, this level will improve you the thing about this level is people think like viewers will think it looks easy and the reason why is because it's not really fast it, at most it goes like two times speed and there are other levels that have crazy effects you know like you look at toxin lab 2 it looks really quickly it looks kind of complex but it's an easy level right toxin lab 3 on the other hand is complex and hard it's an that's crazy but you know toxin lab 2 you watch you're like man that looks crazy hard but, you know, like, Forest Temple, it's slow, but holy crap, is it ever technical. It is hard. If you don't believe me, go and try it yourself. It's a hard demon. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below. I'm so happy that I did this. I'll see you guys in future videos on the channel. I'm going to be doing some easy demons um, in the next little while just to calm down a bit. There's a bunch that I have on my plate that I haven't done because I've been doing this. And so, um... There are some I really want to play, some really cool looking ones, so I'll see you then. As always, guys, peace.